By offering big wages, top Saudi pro league sides have convinced players playing in Europe's top leagues to join them. 21-year-old Gabri Vega is one player who shocked many fans and players for joining Al Ali from Celta Vigo. Another young player to follow the same path is Jota. OK, not Diogo Jota, but João Pedro Neves Felipe, the Portuguese prodigy whose football journey has seen him move from Benfica's youth academy to Celtic and now to Al Ittihad in Saudi Arabia. But why did he make the surprising move? Is it a good or bad transfer? And will he regret the move? In this video, we'll be previewing the career of Portuguese prodigy Jota and his transfer to the Saudi Pro League. Born on the 29th of March 1999 in Lisbon, João Pedro Neves Felipe, more known as Jota's footballing roots, can be traced back to Ginásio de Correios before he found his way to Benfica's youth ranks in 2007. His rise through the ranks was steady, with notable moments like winning the 2017-18 Campeonato Nacional de Juniores and contributing to Benfica's run to the final of the 2016-17 UEFA Youth League. He impressed in the Benfica's B team, and in early 2018, he was promoted to Benfica's first team, alongside three other Benfica B players. However, the young winger faced hurdles in making a consistent impact in Benfica's first team. Despite glimpses of promise, he struggled to secure regular playing time and after failing to impress manager Bruno Large, Jotu was used very few times and found limited first team minutes, scoring only two goals in the 2019-20 season, both in the Portuguese League Cup. He soon found himself loaned out to Real Valladolid in La Liga for the 2020-2021 season. He made his debut over a month later as he came on as a 77th minute substitute for Oscar Plano and scored the final goal of a 3-1 win at Granada. But he added no more goals in 17 games for the rest of the season, which saw the team relegated. Jota's fortunes took a turn when he joined Celtic on loan for the 2021-22 season, bringing a fresh wave of excitement to the Scottish Premiership. The winger's performances quickly caught the eye, earning him the SPFL's Player of the Month for October and November. He was out injured with a hamstring injury for a short period mid-season, but on his return after the turn of the year, his contribution, at least on paper, dipped, with the stats indicating that he was underperforming in goals and assists. But his contributions, including a memorable Old Firm derby goal, played a big role in Celtic's Scottish Premiership win that season. Celtic's move to sign Jota on loan at the end of the 2021 summer transfer window, with a £6.5 million option to buy, turned out to be a significant boost for the squad, especially following crucial departures from the team. Jota was another in the long line of next young big things in Europe who had fallen way short. There had been genuine big money interest in him in recent years from mega clubs, notably Real Madrid, but he was now far off those expectations and needed a reboot, hence his loan move to Celtic, and the club provided the platform for his revival under new manager Ange Postacoglu. A pacey and tricky winger, Jota quickly became a fan favourite with his dazzling performances. His standout moment was a breathtaking 50-yard assist to Kyogo in the Europa League match against Ferenc Varos, showcasing his world-class ability. The debate around Jota's consistency in big games surfaced, with some questioning if he was more than just flair and if he could deliver consistently. However, as the season progressed, he silenced the sceptics with excellent performances, contributing significantly to Celtic's league title win. Jota was clearly enjoying his time at Celtic, and the turning point came in July 2022, when Celtic triggered Jota's buyout clause, securing him on a permanent five-year deal for £6.5 million, with a 30% future transfer fee for Benfica. Jota's second season kicked off impressively, with notable achievements, including a hat-trick of assists against Ross County and a memorable chip against Rangers. Jota's permanent signing delighted Celtic fans, and he continued to shine with his jinking runs, crosses, and stunning goals. His iconic clenched fist salute became a social media sensation. Off the field, Jota's connection with the fans was evident, contributing to the team's domestic treble success that season. But despite his popularity, a shocking twist occurred in June 2023, when Jota was linked with a move to the Saudi League due to a lucrative offer of £10 million tax-free annually and an estimated transfer fee of £25 million. 
This unexpected departure dealt a blow to Celtic, still reading from the loss of manager Postacoglu. Not everyone was thrilled with Jota's decision, with ex-Celt Chris Sutton expressing disappointment. Jota's farewell video on social media reflected his gratitude and emotional connection with the Celtic supporters, acknowledging the incredible journey he experienced during his time at the club. The abrupt end to this memorable chapter left fans with mixed emotions, appreciating the joy Jota brought to Celtic while lamenting his departure. Jota made the surprising move to Al Ittihad in the Saudi Pro League in July 2023. The transfer fee of £25 million marked a record for Al Ittihad and highlighted the financial pull and ambition of the Saudi League. Jota joined the likes of Karim Benzema and Angolo Kante in a squad that represented a massive investment by the Public Investment Fund, the PIF, into Saudi football. The departure of Jota from Celtic left a void in the Scottish club, with fans and pundits expressing mixed emotions. The suddenness of the move, coupled with the staggering figures involved, raised eyebrows and prompted discussions about the shifting dynamics in global football. Jota's impact in Saudi Arabia was almost instantaneous, with the Portuguese winger scoring on his debut for Al Ittihad in a 3-0 win against Al Weda. The move to the Saudi Pro League opened a new chapter in Jota's career, presenting a unique challenge compared to his experiences in Europe. But while the departure of Jota from Celtic was met with sadness by the fans, it also highlighted the evolving landscape of football, where financial incentives are reshaping player movements. The Saudi Pro League's ability to attract talents like Jota reflects the league's financial firepower. But with a young promising talent like Jota, who would have been a sensation at Europe going to Saudi Arabia, it begs the question whether passion has been lost to money. Managers, players, fans and pundits alike have all raised their concerns over young players moving to the Saudi Pro League and throwing a shade over their promising careers. Maybe the Saudi Pro League would become popular in the future, but for now it's just the Saudi Pro League, and with young players like Jota and Vega moving there, they are giving their whole career to the league. As Jota continues his journey in Saudi Arabia, the football world will be keenly watching to see how the young Portuguese talent plays and if it was a good move or a mistake. Thanks for watching. Please drop a like on the video and leave your comments below. Also, remember to subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications. And I'll see you in the next video.